Morning guys, Joe here. Welcome to TND Video Games. We are in the holiday spirit today. It's the weekend after Black Friday, uh, so happy Thanksgiving to all of our American viewers. And uh, we're hoping for a busy day, guys. I think there's going to be a lot of Christmas shopping. And we've got some deals pre-arranged, so I think it's going to be a busy one. So let's get going. Okay, just getting settled in, and we have this note from our good buddy Dave. So let's take a look and see what it says. Dear Joe, if you have time to lean, you have time to clean your brilliant business partner, Dave. I don't even know what to say to that. Dave. Just going to pull some client orders and uh, see what everybody is looking for. Okay, so just looking at the list here. So it looks like some people are looking for some really cool stuff. And then I have this here. Goal of the day, be more like Dave. Hey guys, I'm Dave. Welcome to TND. We're awesome. I'm over here. Now I'm over here. Whoa! Okay guys, just getting to the client requests here. So we have someone looking for PSPs. So we've got a nice one here that came with a case. And then we've got the green one here that came with Metal Gear Solid. So that was a really cool bundle. So just the loose PSP there. And then we've got someone looking for all the Trails games for the Switch. Very hard to find. We just got a bunch of these traded in. And two out of the three of them are sealed. And then same gentleman is also looking for Radiant Historia for the 3DS. So excellent taste in games there. Moving along, our buddy Sean is looking for these two, Road 96 and Metroid Dread. And then we had someone last week looking for the thing. So we're holding that till the end of the day today. And then Max, another one of our regulars is looking for some of the loose Game Boy Advance cases. Uh, so we'll get back to these guys, let them know we have everything they're looking for. Okay, so just had our first sale of the day. Uh, Kevin, one of our regulars who was looking for the PSPs. So he's traded in these two Amiibos here towards this stuff. So green PSP, and then he picked out a few games here. Battlefront Renegade Squadron, Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters, still sealed, and Worms Open Warfare 2. And the neat thing about this is Kevin is getting this for one of his friends who uh, is into the PSP. So it's going to be a Christmas gift. Hey guys, so it's been pretty dead this morning, but we just had one of our regulars, Retro James, uh, message us about the Baki O'Hare that we just got in stock. So he's actually prepaid for that. We're going to hold it here for him. So thanks a lot, James. Great pickup. Honestly, pound for pound, one of the best games on the NES, especially for the... Uh, the price, I know it looks expensive, but compared to other games of its quality and rarity, I'd say it's actually like a pretty decent deal still. I can see, that's when I can see going up to like the five, six hundred dollar range in a couple of years as more people become aware of it and how good of a game it actually is. So great pickup, James. We'll see you later today. So just wanted to highlight some of the restock going into the store. So Christmas shopping is in full swing. So lots of Nintendo being sold, obviously. PS2 Slim up there. Been selling a lot of Wii accessories and controllers, which is pretty common over the holidays. People are looking to connect with family and friends and uh, play some multiplayer. Lots of excellent Super has been selling. Final Fantasy II, we're selling lots of copies of that. That's the game that really cemented my love for JRPGs. I could do a whole video on that on its own. Sold lots of Nintendo, lots of Mario Kart, Mario Strikers, all those multiplayer family fun games. And then moving over here, Shenmue on the Dreamcast. Ninja Gaiden, Black Ops, Little Big Planet, underrated game for the PS3, Bully, and then some 360 stuff down here. And then, of course, the mighty NES, River City Ransom. Rally Bike, that's an obscure one we don't sell too often. Surprised we had another copy of that. And then your staples, Blades of Steel, Super Mario 2, Tiger Heli, Ice Hockey, Mario Duck Hunt, Adventure Link. All games that typically sell after someone buys their first NES. Okay guys, so Retro James came to pick up his Bucky O'Hare. And he also decided to pick up Zelda Oracle of Ages. And the OG Xbox. My guess is he wants a workout on the way to the car. Because that is one heavy console. So... Great taste in games, James. Hope you enjoy these. Hey guys, so just a bit of an update. It's almost noon. It's been pretty steady. This is kind of the first lull without customers, but we do have a small switch trade to check out. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so had a dad come in with his daughter. They were just looking to sell a few games for some Christmas cash. And here's what we got. Monster Jam. Loose copy of Ice Age. Animal Crossing. 
and Super Mario Party. So always happy to get Switch games traded in, especially around the holiday season. Hey guys, so got a note from Dave last week. Two of our regulars, Dan and Mel, who we talk about quite often on the channel, left us Christmas gifts. So I'm excited to see what's in here. So let's do an unboxing. Swedish fish, love these. My daughter loves them too, but sorry, Maddie. I think dad's gonna have these ones. Kit Kat, that looks pretty good. Twizzlers, ooh, Haribo Gold Bears. And a giant arrow bar, yummy. Ooh, Pringles. Batonette de Bonbon, candy sticks. Can't call them cigarettes anymore, but they're Popeye cigarettes. Ooh, a necklace. A Mr. Big Bar. Thanks to Dan and Mel for all that yummy goodness. I actually didn't bring a lot of food with me today, so happy to find this here. This will keep me going until we close at five. Hey guys, since Christmas is just around the corner, I thought I'd do a quick kind of buyer's guide for a couple of the systems. So first up, we're gonna take a look at the NES wall and we're gonna look for $150 worth of games. So if you have a budget of 150 bucks and you've just picked up an NES and don't have games, here's what I recommend you should pick up. Okay hey guys, so we grabbed some games off the shelf. Now let's see if we stayed within our $150 budget. Okay guys, so we were able to find some great games to stay within our holiday budget of $150. So without further adieu, we got the OG Super Mario Brothers 3. Can't go wrong with Mario Brothers 3. Pretty much one of the best NES games of all time. It's gotta go in the collection. Next one, great racing game because we need some variety. RC Pro-Am, awesome racing game on the NES. You could go with Rad Racer as well, but RC Pro-Am's the better game in my opinion. Next up we've got Ninja Gaiden, or is it Gaiden? I don't know. Ninja Gaiden 2. I think it's better than the first one. Graphics are better, sounds better. Difficulty's a little less punishing, so that's the one I would go with. Next we've got Batman, the video game, the rare game based on a movie that's actually good. Um, Amazing music, amazing controls, amazing platforming. One of the best pound for pound, dollar for dollar games on the original NES. And next up, sports games. <laughs> Cannot leave out Blades of Steel. Probably one of the better hockey games, even though it's an earlier one. It's a toss up between this and ice hockey. So basically, whichever one you prefer. Can't go wrong with either. I'm going with Blades of Steel. Next up, <laughs> Blaster Master. So we don't sell a lot of copies of this game, but I'm not sure why. Another Sunsoft game, so they developed the Batman game and this one as well. Great music, great graphics, uh, amazing kind of Metroidvania type gameplay before it was popular. It's got the side view. It's also got the overhead Zelda-like view as well for some of the stages. So again, really cool game. Next up, got to cover your beat-em-ups. Double Dragon 2. This was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. I actually was lucky enough to receive this game for Christmas the year it came out. So was super happy with it. Excellent multiplayer game and probably the best beat em up on the system. And last but not least, got to cover your puzzle. <laughs> Boom, Dr. Mario. Again, great game, very addictive gameplay. This is a game you can play with someone who actually doesn't play video games. It's one of those minute to learn, lifetime to master games. Now you could basically go with this one or Tetris. However, I prefer Dr. Mario and you can likely play Tetris on something else. So yeah, guys, this is what I would do with $150 towards my first set of NES games. Cheers. So relatively quiet start to the afternoon, but uh, just sold these Switch games again to someone looking for Christmas presents. So. Monster Jam Steel Titans, which we actually just got in earlier in the day. And one of my personal favorites, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Can't recommend this game enough. I played it on the Wii U, but I heard the Switch version is also excellent. So just a couple more sales updates. So a couple more Christmas gifts being purchased for people, which is awesome to see. So we sold a Model 1 Genesis, and then we had someone else come in who had just found their Dreamcast at home but could not find the cables or the games. We were able to get him set up with the cables and a couple of the games, so happy to help him out. Still pretty dead, but we've got a small trade here to show you. So starting over here, Rogue Squadron complete in box for the N64. Always nice to get N64 stuff. Star Fox Zero with the bonus game. Both games are sealed inside. The Witcher Wild Hunt for the Xbox One. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Can't recommend those games enough. 
an extra copy of Star Fox Guard. And then we got this neat item here. This is a Hyperkin Duke controller for the Xbox One. So if you got big hands and play the Xbox One, grab one of those. An Xbox One controller, an OG Xbox controller, and a wireless controller for the OG Xbox. Actually low on Xbox controllers in general, so happy to get those and happy to add all this stuff to the shelves. So just got this Rogue Squadron box in. Did not come with a manual, so we have a beat up box with a manual. So what I'm gonna do is kind of pick the nicest components here and make the best condition CIB that I can. That way a collector can find something in good condition. Okay, so now we have a nice clean CIB copy and then we've got the lesser condition copy without the manual. So obviously a price difference there. Now whoever comes in can pick and choose what they want to spend on uh, whatever quality they want. No, no, I've turned into Dave again. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Ugh. Okay, so after a pretty uneventful afternoon, we have a trade. So nice trade here. Gentleman came in, said he saw us on YouTube and thought he'd come in and sell us some stuff. So lots of nice PS2 here, Deus Ex, some Final Fantasies, bunch of Metal Gear Solids, Oni, your three Onimusha games, Star Wars Starfighter, Toady Hawk Underground, Tekken Tag Tournament. So always happy to get good PS2 in. And then we got an NES system. With a few games here, Mario 2, Rad Racer, RC Pro-Am, one of my picks for the uh, Christmas Buyer's Guide. And then Apocalypse starring Bruce Willis. You know this game is going to be good if it's got Bruce in it. Again, happy to get this in after an uneventful afternoon. And we'll get this all tested and priced and put on the shelves. Okay, so just testing out the NES here and trying to see if it'll work. So let's give her a go. Look at that, first try. Little graphical artifacts, probably just the cart that's dirty, but uh, happy to see it uh, working first try. And there we go, second try. She's up and running perfectly. Okay guys, so we are done for the day. Again, not the craziest day. And uh, we're hoping for a busy day, guys. I think there's gonna be a lot of Christmas shopping. <laughs> happy to see everyone. And uh, overall, just a nice, slow, but steady day. Can't complain there. And uh, it was a lot of fun doing the NES buying guide, so I'll probably do a couple of more of those over the next couple of weeks when I'm in. And uh, let me know, what are you hoping Santa brings you for Christmas? I know for me, I'm hoping for a few Switch, PS4, PS5 games under the tree. I pretty much have all the retro stuff I need, so still collecting those new niche indie titles. So hopefully the big guys get to me and hopefully it's good to you too. Have a good day guys. Cheers.